The Leopards return home this weekend, still in search of win number one as they take on the Penn Quakers at 3.30. Head coach John Garrett and a few players address the media at today's weekly luncheon. Albany's a good football team. We've, I've been playing against them since my time at Richmond, and they always have a great reputation of being strong, tough, and, uh, and, and just a really uh, hard-nosed football team. <clears throat> and uh, they uh, lived up to that reputation. That was a big, strong, fast football team. And, and they had a really talented quarterback. That guy's going to be uh, really good. And, and uh, you know, they had uh, talent at running back. And they had fast wide receivers and big, strong offensive linemen. And defensively, it was the best defensive line that I've coached against at the FCS level. And with Penn, you know, they're a good football team. They always have been. Uh, Coach Priori has uh, had the team ready and successful consistently for years, uh, coming off several winning seasons in a row. Um, and they have uh, a lot of veteran players. Their, their starting lineups are laden with seniors. Um, they have a starting quarterback that's a transfer from Georgia uh, through Saddleback Junior College. Um, so uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, so, but always have respect for for Coach Priori, uh, his teams play hard, um, and they're really well prepared. They rarely make mistakes. So transitioning from high school, um, I have a great D-line coach here, Coach Siamalu. He's been working with me. Um, he's always constantly making sure I notice the small things, the fundamentals, because that's really what makes the difference in the transition from high school to college, because without fundamentals, it's, it's not easy to do. And it's still not easy to do, but he makes it more he makes it more easy to maintain with uh, the way he coaches and how hard he is on us. And it's all for the betterment of us because we are becoming better as a D-line in general. Um, the hardest part transitioning is probably uh, just time management, um, making sure that I'm still getting in the weight room, making sure that I'm still getting on the field when I can. And uh, he's there to make sure I'm focusing on the small things. Establishing uh, a connection is big. And um, Keegan's come in, he, and he's done a great job. He, he's, he's earned it. He's shown that he can do it. Um, I've, I've established a connection with him um, just even beforehand, before we knew he was going to be playing. I was uh, able to throw with him sometimes in the summer, being a local Texas kid next to me. And so uh, I think we established that connection uh, back then, but also at practice. and. Um, it's, it's been new, but it's been uh, efficient and effective, and I think it's been something that uh, has worked. I feel like I have improved uh, tremendously. Um, I'm just trying to get better every day uh, in practice, try to hone in on my skills, become a better tackler, become a better coverage uh, guy, um, just whatever I need to do to excel and get to, to be the best player that I could be and do what I could do for my team. It is homecoming here on College Hill, so we hope to see you in the stands here at Fisher Stadium, but if you can't make it to the game, it will be on the Lafayette Sports Network. For all news and updates, please check GoLeopards.com. Reporting for the Lafayette Sports Network, I'm John Sabino.